You know, you register it when you're fat and people look at you. You never know, are they looking at you because you're like fat? Are, you look, are they looking at you because they're like, wow, she's moving her body? I'm more <laughs> self-conscious eating a salad in front of people than eating junk food because they expect me to eat, be eating junk food. Right? Exactly. I always get a comment on the salads. Right, good for you. And, and not the good cheetahs. For good for that. you. It seems to me that there is a subtle suggestion that climbing a mountain is the reserve of the gym junkie and the smaller bodied individuals. I do identify myself as super sized and super fat. You will never hear me use the word fat. It's like a dirty word. It's like the worst thing you could be. Fluffy, chubby, <laughs> curvy. <laughs> We're trying to tell the world that fat women can do anything. 20 women, one mountain. <laughs> This is the hardest thing I have ever done. <laughs> I did still feel strong enough to keep going and to do this thing. You know, people will always look at the package that you come in and go, oh, you're too big or you're too dark, you're too whatever it is. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a two-time Ironman finisher. I am a 37-year-old stay-at-home mom. I was inspired to do this trip because I am going to be turning 50 next year and I wanted to do something epic. I'm really looking forward to crushing expectations of women in larger bodies. I think that I just learned so much about being worthy. When you climb the tallest freestanding mountain on the planet with a group of 20 other fat women, it gives you a lot of confidence.